Revelation of John Revelation of St. John the Theologian After the taking up of our Lord Jesus Christ, I, John, was alone upon Mount Tabor, where also he showed us his undefiled Godhead. And as I was not able to stand, I fell upon the ground and prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord my God, who hast deemed me worthy to be thy servant, Hear my voice, and teach me about thy coming, when thou shalt come to the earth, and what will happen. The heaven and the earth, and the sun and the moon, what will happen to them in those times? Reveal to me all, for I am emboldened, because thou listen to thy servant. And I spent seven days praying, and after this a cloud of light caught me up from the mountain, and set me before the face of the heaven. And I heard a voice saying to me, Look up, John, servant of God, and know. And having looked up, I saw the heaven opened, and there came forth from within a heaven a smell of perfumes of much sweet odor. And I saw an exceeding great flood of light, more resplendent than the sun. And again I heard a voice saying to me, Behold, righteous John. And I directed my sight and saw a book lying, of the thickness, methought of seven mountains, and the length of it mind of man cannot comprehend, having seven seals. And I said, O Lord my God, reveal to me what is written in this book. And I heard a voice saying to me, Hear, righteous John, in this book which thou seest there have been written the things in the heaven and the things in the earth and the things in the abyss, and the judgments and righteousness of all of the human race. And I said, Lord, when shall these things come to pass? And what do those times bring? And I heard a voice saying to me, Here, righteous John, there shall be in that time abundance of corn and wine, such as there hath never been upon the earth, nor shall ever be until those times come. Then the ear of corn shall produce a half shonex, and the bend of the branch shall produce a thousand clusters, and the cluster shall produce a half jar of wine. And in the following year there shall not be found upon the face of all of the earth a half chonex of corn or a half jar of wine. And again I said, Lord, thereafter what wilt thou do? And I heard a voice saying to me, Here, righteous John, then shall appear the denier, and he who is set apart in the darkness, who is called Antichrist. And again I said, Lord, reveal unto me what he is like. And I heard a voice saying to me, The appearance of his face is dusky, the hairs of his head are sharp like darts. His eyebrows like a wild beast's, his right eye like the star which rises in the morning, and the other like a lion's, his mouth about one cubit, his teeth span long, his fingers like scythes, the print of his feet of two spans, and on his face an inscription, Antichrist, he shall be exalted even to heaven, and shall be cast down even unto Hades, making false displays. And then will I make the heaven brazen, so that it will not give moisture upon the earth. And I will hide the clouds in secret places, so that they shall not bring moisture upon the earth. And I will command the horns of the wind, so that the wind shall not blow upon the earth. And again I said, Lord, and how many years will he do this upon the earth? And I heard a voice saying to me, Hear, righteous John, three years shall those times be, and I will make the three years like three months, and the three months like three weeks, the three weeks like three days, three days like three hours, and three hours like three seconds. As said the prophet David, his throne hast thou broken down to the ground, thou hast shortened the days of his time, thou hast poured shame upon him. And then I shall send forth Enoch and Elias to convict him. And they shall show him to be a liar and a deceiver, and he shall kill them at the altar, as said the prophet. 
then shall they offer calves upon thine altar. And again I said, Lord, and after that, what will come to pass? And I heard a voice saying to me, Hear, righteous John, then all the human race shall die, and there shall not be a living man upon all of the earth. And again I said, Lord, after that, what will thou do? And I heard a voice saying unto me, Hear, righteous John, then will I send forth my angels, and they shall take the ram's horn, the ram's horns that lie upon the cloud. And Michael and Gabriel shall go forth out of heaven and sound with those horns, as the prophet David foretold, with the voice of a trumpet of a horn. And the voice of the trumpet shall be heard from one quarter of the earth unto the other. And from the voice of that trumpet all the earth shall be shaken, as the prophet foretold. And at the voice of the bird every plant shall arise, that is, at the voice of the archangel all the human race shall arise. And I again said, Lord, those who are dead from Adam even to this day, and who dwell in Hades from the beginning of the earth, and who die at the last ages, what like shall they arise? And I heard a voice saying unto me, Here, righteous John, All the human race shall arise thirty years old. And again I said, Lord, they die male and female, and some old and some young, some infants. In the resurrection, what like shall they arise? And I heard a voice saying to me, Here, righteous John, just as the bees are, and differ not from one another, but are all of one appearance and one size, so also shall every man be in the resurrection. There is neither fair, nor ruddy, nor black, neither Ethiopian, Ethiopian, nor different countenances, but they shall all arise of one appearance and one stature. All the human race shall arise without bodies, as I told you that in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God. And again, I, I said, Lord, is it possible in that world to recognize each other? A brother is brother, or a friend is friend, or a father his own child, or, a, or the children their own parents. And I heard a voice saying to me, Here, John, to the righteous there is recognition, but to the sinners not at all. They cannot in the resurrection recognize each other. And again, I, John, said, Lord, is there recollection of the things that are here, either fields or vineyards or other things that are here. And I heard a voice saying to me, Hear, righteous John, the prophet David speaks, saying, I remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field. So he shall flourish, for a wind hath passed over it, and then it shall be no more. And it shall not any longer know its place. And again the same said, His spirit shall go forth, and he returns to his earth, and in that day all his thoughts shall perish. And again I said, Lord, and after that what wilt thou do? And I heard a voice saying to me, Here, righteous John, then will I send forth mine angels over the face of all the earth. And they shall lift off the earth everything honorable, and everything precious, and the venerable, and the holy images, and the glorious and precious crosses, and the sacred vessels of the churches, and the divine and sacred books, and all the precious and holy things shall be lifted up into the clouds of the air. And then will I order to be lifted up the great and venerable scepter, on which I stretched forth my hands, and all the orders of my angels shall do reverence to it. And then shall be lifted up all the race of men upon the clouds, as the Apostle Paul foretold. Along with them we shall be snatched up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And then shall come forth every spirit, both in the earth and in the abyss, wherever they are on the face of all of the earth, from the rising of the sun and to the setting of the sun. And they shall be united to him that is served by the devil, that is, the Antichrist. And they shall be lifted up upon the clouds. And again I said, Lord, and after that, what wilt thou do? And I heard a voice saying unto me, Righteous John, then shall I send forth mine angels over the face of all the earth, 
and they shall burn up the earth, 8,500 cubits. And the great mountain shall be burnt up, and all the rocks shall be melted, and all shall become dust. And every tree shall be burnt up, and every beast, every creeping thing, everything that creeps upon the earth, everything moving upon the face of the earth, everything flying, flying in the air, and there shall no longer be upon the face of all the earth anything moving, and the earth shall be without motion. And again I said, Lord, and after that what will thou do? And I heard a voice saying unto me, Hear, righteous John, then shall I uncover the four parts of the east, and there shall come forth four great winds, and they shall sweep all the face of the earth from one end to the other. And the Lord shall sweep sin from off the earth, and the earth shall be made white like snow, and it shall become as a leaf of paper, without cave or mountain or hill or rock. But the face of the earth, from the rising even to the setting of the sun, shall be like a table and white as snow, and the rains of the earth shall be consumed by fire. And it shall cry unto me, saying, I am a virgin before thee, O Lord, and there is no sin in me, as the prophet David had said aforetime. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made pure. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall bow me. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. And again he said, Every chasm shall be filled up, and every mountain and hill brought low, and the crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough ways into smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. And again I said, Lord, and after that what will thou do? And I heard a voice saying unto me, Hear, righteous John, Then shall the earth be cleansed from sin, and all the earth shall be filled with a sweet smell, because I am about to come down upon the earth, and then shall come forth the great and venerable scepter, with thousands of angels worshipping it, as I said before, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man from the heaven with power and great glory, and then the worker of iniquity with his servants shall behold it, and gnash his teeth exceedingly, and all the unclean spirits shall be turned to flight, and then seized by invisible power, having no means of flight, they shall gnash their teeth against him, saying to him, where is thy power? Hast thou led us astray? And we have fled away, and have fallen away from the glory of which we beside him who is coming to judge us, and the whole human race. Woe unto us, because he banishes us into outer darkness. And again, I said, Lord, and after that what will thou do? And I heard a voice saying to me, Then will I send an angel out of heaven, and he shall cry with a loud voice, saying, Hear, O earth, and be strong, saith the Lord. For I am coming down to thee, and the voice of the angel shall be heard from one end of the world, even unto the other, even unto the remotest parts of the abyss. And then shall be shaken all the powers of the angels, and of the many-eyed ones. And there shall be a great noise in the heavens, and the nine regions of the heavens shall be shaken, and there shall be fear and astonishment upon all of the angels, and then the heavens shall be rent from the rising of the sun even unto the setting, and an innumerable multiple multitude of angels shall come down unto the earth, and then the treasures of the heavens shall be opened, and they shall bring down every precious thing, and the perfume of incense, and they shall bring down to the earth Jerusalem robed like a bride. And then sh there shall go before my myriads of angels and archangels, bearing my throne, crying out, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, and then will I come forth with power and great glory, and every eye in the clouds shall see me, and then every knee shall bend of things in heaven and in things of the earth and the things under the earth, and then heaven shall remain empty, and I will come down upon the earth, and all that is in the air shall be brought down upon the earth and all the human race, and every evil spirit along with the Antichrist, and they shall all be set before me naked and chained by the neck. And again I said, Lord, what will become of the heavens and the sun and the moon along with the stars? And I heard a voice saying to me, Behold, righteous John. And I looked and saw a lamb having seven eyes and seven horns. 
And again I heard a voice saying to me, I will bid the Lamb come before me, and will say, Who will open this book? And all the multitudes of the angel will answer, Give this book to the Lamb to open it, and then will I order the book to be opened. And when he shall open the first seal, the stars of heaven shall fall from one end of it to the other. And when he shall open the second seal, the moon shall be hidden, and there shall be no light in her. And when he shall open the third seal, the light of the sun shall be withheld, and there shall not be light upon the earth. And when he shall open the fourth seal, the heavens shall be dissolved, and the air shall be thrown into utter confusion, as saith the prophet, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou endurest, and they shall all wax old as a garment. And when he shall open the fifth seal, the earth shall be rent, and all the tribunals upon the face of the earth shall be revealed. And when he shall open the sixth seal, the half of the sea shall disappear. And when he shall have opened the seventh seal, Hades shall be uncovered. And I said, Lord, who will be the first to be questioned and to receive judgment? And I heard a voice saying unto me, The unclean spirits along with the adversary. I bid them to go into the outer darkness, where the depths are. And I said, Lord, and in what place does it lie? And he said to me, Here, righteous John, as big a stone as a man of thirty years old can roll, and let go down into the depths therein, falling down for twenty years, it will not arrive at the bottom of Hades. As the prophet David had said before, and he made darkness his secret place. And I said, Lord, and after them, that nation will be questioned. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Here, righteous John. There will be questioned of Adam's race those nations, both the Greek and those who have believed in idols, and in the sun, and in the stars, and those who have defiled the faith by heresy, and who have not believed the holy resurrection, and who have not confessed the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Then will I send them away into Hades, as the prophet David had foretold. Let the sinners be turned into Hades, and all the nations that forget God. And again he said, They were put into Hades like sheep. Death shall be their shepherd. And again I said, Lord, and after them whom wilt thou judge? And he said to me, Here, righteous John, then the race of the Hebrews shall be examined, who nailed me to the tree of the cross like a malefactor. And I said, And what punishment will these get, and, what, and in what place, seeing that they did such things to thee? And I heard a voice saying to me, they shall go away into Tartarus, as the prophet David had foretold. They cried out, and there was none to save to the Lord, and he did not hearken to them. And again the apostle Paul said, As many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned the law shall be judged by means of the law. <clears throat> and again I said, Lord, and... <clears throat> Excuse me. And again I said, Lord, and what of those who have received baptism? And I heard a voice saying to me, Then the race of Christians shall be examined who have received baptism, and then the righteous shall come at my command, and the angels shall go and collect them from among the sinners as the prophet David had foretold. The Lord will not suffer the rod of the sinners and the lot of righteous. And all the righteous shall be placed on my right hand, and shall shine like the sun, as thou seest, John, the stars of heaven, that they were all made together, but differ not in light. So shall it be with the righteous and the sinners, for the righteous shall shine as lights, and as the sun, but the sinners shall stand in darkness. And again I said, Lord, and do all the Christians go into one punishment? kings, high priests, patriarchs, rich and poor, bond and free. And he said to me, Here, righteous John, as the prophet David had foretold, 
The expectation of the poor shall not perish for ever. Now about kings they shall be driven like slaves, and shall weep like infants, and shall about patriarchs and priests and Levites of those that have sinned. They shall be separated in their punishments according to the nature of the peculiar transgression of each. Some in the river of fire, and some to the worm that dieth not, and others in seven-mouthed pit of punishment. To these punishment the sinners will be appointed. And again I said, Lord, and where will the righteous dwell? And I heard a voice saying to me, Then shall paradise be revealed, and the whole world and paradise shall be made one, and the righteous shall be on the face of all the earth with my angels, as the Holy Spirit foretold through the prophet David. The righteous shall inherit the earth and dwell thereon, therein forever and ever. And again I said, Lord, how great is the multitude of the angels, and which is greater, that of the angels or of men? And I heard a voice saying to me, As great as great as is the multitude of the angels, so great is the race of men, as the prophet had said. He set bounds to the nations according to the number of the angels of God. And again I said, Lord, and after that what will thou do? And what is to become of the world? Reveal to me all, and I heard a voice saying to me, Hear, righteous John. After that there is no pain, there is no grief, there is no groanings, there is no recollection of evils, there are no tears, there is no envy, there is no hatred of brethren, there is no unrighteousness, there is no arrogance, and there is no slander, there is no bitterness, there are none of the cares of life, there is no pain from parents or children, there is no pain from gold, there is no wicked thoughts, there is no devil devil there is no death there is no night but all is day as i have said before and other sheep i have which are not of this fold that is men who have been made like the angels through their excellent course of life them also must i bring and they will hear my voice and there shall be one fold one shepherd and again i heard the voice saying to me Behold, thou hast heard all these things, righteous John. Deliver them to the faithful, that they also may teach others, and not think lightly of them, nor cast our pearls before swine, lest perchance they should trample them with their feet. And while I was still hearing this voice, the cloud brought me down, and put me on Mount Thabor. And there came a voice to me, saying, Blessed are those who keep judgment and do righteous in all time and blessed is the house where the description lies as the lord said he that loveth me keepeth my sayings in christ jesus our lord to him be glory forever amen